Hi everyone, this is Maddie with Gallatin Valley Farm to School and today I am here in the Whittier Elementary Garden to lead you through a lesson called Garden Grids. Now, this lesson is all about planning, designing, and planting our garden beds. So, we'll be learning about plant spacing guidelines and how to properly plant our plants and our seeds to make sure they have enough room to grow. And We'll also be able to accurately measure garden beds to make sure we are planting things at equal spacing. So this lesson will be using multiplication skills. We'll be using measurement tools like rulers and strings. And we'll also be getting our hands dirty by doing some real planting. Okay, let's get started. So for this lesson, we will be following something called square foot gardening. Does anybody know what square foot gardening is? It is a way to use plant spacing guidelines to plant our crops as closely together as possible without overcrowding them. So square foot gardening allows us to grow as many fruits or vegetables as we can in a small space, which is super important because we don't have a lot of space at this Irving garden. I mean, there are six garden beds, but we want to get the most out of our beds as possible. So square foot gardening is going to help us understand how closely we can plant different plants and different seeds to make sure that our plants have the greatest chance of growing and producing a big harvest for us. So in order to get started with our square foot gardening method, we are going to need some string. And if you are doing this with a friend or a sibling and you have a parent or guardian to supervise you you could also use a hammer and nails to secure your string in place since I'm doing this lesson by myself I'm not going to secure them in place I'm just going to lay the string across the beds you'll also want some seeds with the seed packets so that you can read how far they're supposed to be planted apart from each other and you also might want some starts to transplant into the ground if you have anything started at your house. So, at our garden, I have prepared one of the beds for us to use. And the size of the bed that we'll be using today is four feet by three feet. If our garden bed is four feet long and three feet wide, how many square feet are in that garden bed? Well, I have a handy way for us to figure it out. You could multiply three by four, or you could follow me and we'll measure it together. Okay, here is the garden bed that we'll be using. As you can see, this half of the bed is already being occupied by some perennial herbs that we have growing there. So we're gonna leave that part alone and that's why we only have about four feet long and three feet wide. So to measure our square feet, I'm going to use our ruler and I'm going to mark off every foot of our bed using a popsicle stick or a wood chip. So there's our first foot. Second foot. our third foot and our fourth foot. All right, four feet long. There's our last wood chip in there. Now three feet wide. I'm going to measure three feet across. And again, I'm gonna mark with a wood chip or if you have a popsicle stick, each foot. Here we go. One more. There we go. Okay, and then our last one reaches the end of the bed. So those are our three feet by our four feet. The next step is to take your string or your yarn, whatever you're using, and make a grid to outline those foot measurements that we just did. I'm gonna do mine and then I'll show you what it looks like.
Okay, how did you do? Do you have a garden bed that you can measure the square feet of? If not, how many square feet did you find in my garden bed that I'm using? Remember, four feet long by three feet wide. Twelve square feet, exactly. So we have 12 square feet to work with. So this gardening method is really helpful because think about it this way. If you have some cabbage seeds and the back of the seed packet recommends that cabbage seeds are all planted one foot apart or with one foot spacing, how many cabbage seeds can you plant in that garden bed? 12. We have our square feet all gridded out for us and we know that there are 12 square feet in our garden bed. So if cabbage needs to be planted at one foot spacing, we can put a cabbage seed in the middle of each of our garden grids. And that's how we know the spacing. Now we're not going to be planting any cabbage today, but I do have some Swiss chard starts that we are going to be putting into our garden today. And I have this seed packet right here. And the seed packet says that these plants need to be thinned to 12 inches apart. How much is 12 inches? One foot. So right here, thin to 12 inches. So if our chard needs to be 12 inches apart from each other, how many of them could we plant in our bed? We could plant 12 chard plants in our square foot garden bed, but we only have four of them. So I think we'll just do four long in our four square feet. We also have some kale to plant. Now I have a kale packet here. Ooh, okay, here's our kale packet. Can you read this? Plant outdoors at 24 inches apart. Hmm, 24 inches is how many feet? Well, there's 12 inches in one foot. 12 times two is 24. So 24 inches is two feet. Thank goodness we have our square foot gardening method so that I know that one kale plant needs to go in every two feet. Let's think about something else that doesn't need as much space as our kale or our Swiss chard. Let's think about our beets. Now we're going to direct seed these beets, which means we're gonna plant them right into the soil. And our seed packet tells us they need to be four to six inches apart. So let's just go with four inches for our lesson. If our beets need to be planted four inches apart, how many beet seeds can we fit into one of our square feet? Okay, so did you figure it out? Our beets need to be four inches apart. I've got a ruler here for us. So one beet seed could go here, then another four inches, one, two, three, four. Another seed could go here, then another four inches, one, two, three, four, another seed. How many seeds is that? One, two, three seeds in each of our square foot garden beds. Now, enough of me talking, let's go plant. Okay, before I started planting, I wanted to let you know what I did to our garden bed to prep it for our starts and for our seeds. So this bed hasn't been planted at all since last summer. So it was covered with dried leaves that we put on top of here in the fall to put the garden to bed. And to prep the bed for planting today, I removed some of the dried leaves, but I also stirred in some of the leaves back into the bed. Act as organic material to give some compost and some nutrients to our soil. So I stirred those leaves in 
And then I watered our bed. And I watered our bed so that when I put the starts in, their roots can move right into that soil and have water when they need it. And they will make the adjustment perfectly from their small tray to the bed. Okay, so let's start with our Swiss chard. Remember, our Swiss chard packet wants us to thin these to one foot apart. And I have four chard plants, which is perfect because I have four feet in my first garden grid column. So I'm going to dig a little spot. If I put them all in the middle of the grid, we will know that they're a foot apart from each other. Just digging a little hole with my hand. Soil's nice and moist. And I'm gonna pop them out. Give the roots a little wiggle so that some of them are free and know that they need to start finding their new home. And I'll pop it right in there. All right, gonna do the same with the next three. Cool. Okay, let's check and see if they're all a foot apart using our grid method. Okay, so I planted the chard in the middle of these square feet. So they should be about a foot apart if the grid was properly measured. And there we go, 12 inches, one foot apart. There we go, another foot, and just about another foot. Wow, this grid is making my life a lot easier. Okay, now that our chard is in the ground, let's move on to our kale. Do you remember how far apart the kale is supposed to be? We can refer back to our seed packet. Plant outdoors at 24 inches apart. How many feet is 24 inches? Two feet. So I am going to plant my kale two feet apart using our garden grid. And that means in order for them to have two feet of space on every side, how many kale plants do you think I can fit in here? Two. I can only fit two kale plants if they need to be two feet apart. Let's do it. Okay, the last plant we need to get in the ground are our beets. And remember, we're not transplanting beets. They don't like to be transplanted very much. So we're going to direct seed these. And they need to be thin to four inches apart, which means how many seeds can go in one of our square feet? Do you remember? Three. Because three seeds every four inches will make 12 inches or one foot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plant these. Square foot gardening helped me measure out the spacing between my plants. It was super helpful. The only thing that would have been more helpful than using the garden grid method would have been if I had you all here to help me plant. It's not as fun gardening without you students. So I hope you know we are missing you and your gardens will be ready for you when you come back to school. Before we close our lesson, I wanted to ask you, what do you think would happen if we didn't measure out the spacing, if we just planted plants as close together as we wanted? If I put one charred plant two inches away from another charred plant, 
or if I put the kale plants only an inch away from each other, what would happen? Would those plants be able to grow? Probably not. There wouldn't be enough space for their roots to spread out. They would be competing for nutrients and for water and for sun. So eventually one of them would probably win and the other one might die. So it's super important to know the spacing. We want to give our plants the best chance to grow and produce a good harvest for us. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. And if you have a garden at home or in your neighborhood, maybe your grandparents have a garden, you should try out this garden grid method. All you need, remember, is a ruler, some string. If you want to get that string in place, you could use a hammer and nails. You'll need some seeds and some starts. And then you'll be able to plant everything at perfectly spaced intervals. All of your plants will be able to grow so big and strong and you will have an amazing harvest when the time comes. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video.